Hi, I'm Grant, and those of you that are familiar with my YouTube channel will know that I shoot a lot of real estate video. I'm currently putting together an online instructional video course for using Final Cut Pro X for editing real estate video. In this course, I go through my exact steps and methodology which I use to turn around real estate videos using Final Cut Pro. I talk about the way that I found to be the fastest way to turn around videos using Final Cut Pro X, keyboard shortcuts, color correcting, and much more. The course is ideally suited for those of you that are new to using Final Cut Pro X for editing real estate video, or perhaps those of you with a bit more experience wanting to look at my methodology and workflow so that you can adapt it to your own practice. Here's a short excerpt from the actual video course talking about JKL editing. So how do you do that, I hear you ask. We click on the clip, and essentially what we want to do is we can use the little, use our mouse and drag it, or else we can use the JKL keys. Now this is the way that I've found best, and it's called JKL editing actually, and what it is, is if you push the L key, it plays the clip in real time forward, and if I hit the K key, it pauses it, and if I hit the J key, it goes backwards in real time. You can also hit the space bar, and that will play your clip down as well. And that is a great way to scroll through your clip. You can also play it at double speed. For example, if I hit the L key twice, it'll play it double time, like three times, and it'll, it'll even ramp it up even more if there's more clips. So I find that's the fastest way to get through a clip is using the JKL keys. So once you find the part of your clip that you like, for example, I like say just as that grass is disappearing, so I went backwards, so then I mark, I use the I key to mark in, and then the O key to mark out, so we want the shot at about, say there, O key, and now I've marked the in point and the out point of my clip. So I can just use my mouse and drag that clip to my timeline or my project, or I found a better way to do that is to use the E key, so if I undo that, Command Z, is undo and that is your friend so let's hit command Z so it has it's not down the timeline now and I prefer to use the key E so E means append the clip to the end of your storyline so if I hit E you'll see it's dropped it on the timeline if I hit E again it'll drop it on the end of that that same clip on the end of the other clip and again so we'll do command Z to undo those last two so you, you're basically getting into using key the keyboard shortcuts and, and once you get used to them they are by far the quickest way to do it. So the keys that you need to learn or the keys that, that you should learn for this are the JKL keys for scrolling through your clip, the in, the I key for marking in, the O key for marking out, the E key for dropping that clip onto the end of your timeline. I'll put a link in the description to this video to a page on my website where you can find out more about the course and what is covered. And there is also an email form there where you can register your interest if this is something that may be of interest to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.